You think just because I got an EV, I won't pollute the environment? You better guess again, crybabies. So after the shit show of getting it here, it's in the tarp shop. And now it's time to start working on the batteries. I had to pull each one of these heavy bastards out and slap the welder on them to get them all rejuvenated. Well, mostly all of them. Four out of six. Now this adventure took all day, but I'll keep it short and simple. The welder handle will get the screwdriver in, shoved in it, and locked down. And then I'll vice grip that to the positive of the battery while the negative clamps on the negative of the battery. Now apparently my welder is a Satanist, and probably attached to the Clintons, but we're going to move past that because I don't feel like getting shot. Welder hooked to battery, I went ahead and cranked it up to 30 amps. Let that sit for a couple of minutes until I've seen some bubbles and run it right up to 85. Here you can see me in panic, removing the vents on the battery I'm desulfating before it explodes on me. Alright, so I spent pretty much since 1 o'clock to now. I don't know what time it is. I spent the last six hours on these batteries. I've got one left. While I've got them to hold 12 volts, their amperage isn't very great, so um, I'm probably going to have to buy new batteries any fucking way. That does not mean I'm not going to drive this bitch, because I'm about to stick them in here and see what happens, and we can go from there. Alright, let's do it. I managed to get it to start charging. Now she's charging. <laughs> All right, so I got the batteries in, four out of all six worked, so that's pretty good. I mean, hell, I only had to, make, only had to buy two. Well, only $300, right? Only. Anyways, went to use this and the charger stopped working, which ultimately means that the DC to DC converter stopped working, which is kind of a pain in the ass considering that you need your 12 volts to run the fucking control panel. So after jumping 12 volts and a ground to the system that controls everything like the LCD and whatnot. Here I am. I pulled this strap off so that we can see what's going on, but it's throwing a lot of sparks out of it and it's kind of a little iffy. I'm wondering if maybe it's just been sitting for a long time and that's why it's doing that, but uh, for the most part this motor may be fucked. I'm going to take it apart on the table and maybe I'll clean it out, but I wanted to show y'all what this looks like, so stay tuned for a second. So yeah, the motor's kind of trashy, it barely wanted to move, but after running it in for a while, it finally started to take off on its own, and boy did it have some torque. I mean, just watch. I'll show you. Are you not impressed? You should be. But if you're not, watch it pull the whole dually. Yeah, like it ain't shit. I mean, as, as long as it's not, like, in drive or anything. Can't quite do that. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching the video. If you've gotten this far, like and subscribe if you give a shit. Or maybe you want to put some money in my pocket indirectly. And uh, enjoy the shit show that was me trying to get a good shot of this spinning. Peace out.